Now let's take a look at the fourth tip we're going to cover in today's webinar. How can we use templates within Zipform to make it easier enough to reuse those sets of forms in any transaction that we'll need? Within your Zipform account, you'll always find a templates menu. Templates will let you create as many templates of your choice, whether you're creating a purchase template, a listing, a commercial, or a vacant land template. There's a limited storage within Zipform Plus that you can use and store specific templates that you'll need. When creating a template, you'll always want to create a new one. Assign a name. Assign a template type and property type. Once you've saved the name, you'll be taken directly to the form viewer. From here, we can toggle through the same features that are available under the Select Library drop-down menu. Using that button, I can toggle over to my SFCA library and add the forms that I need for my template. And don't forget, you'll also have other statewide forms that are available inside your account. I'll always want to add a cover sheet in a template because I know that it will also autofill and auto-delete data. EPUB and the CAR sample letter libraries are always available so you can add your important mandated booklets to use for future transactions. Once you have added your form, you want to add items that are minimal within the cover sheet. Because in my template, specifically in my purchase template, for future transactions, I'm always going to be the buyer's agent or the selling agent. So you will toggle over to page three of the cover sheet and add your company information. By doing this, you no longer have to manually enter your office information anytime you use your transaction. Once you have entered all the important information, you can save your work and exit out of the template to start creating a transaction. Utilizing your template is very easy. From the same website, my.sfrealtors.com, you can push the listing data back into the form and apply the templates you've created. Using the make an offer form, this lets me push the data of the listing back into my contract. Once the listing has been inserted back into zip form, you'll find that the property information as well as the listing agent information has been added into your account. Applying a template is very easy. Within the zip form form viewer, you'll have a unique back button. From this section, you can use the option apply templates to apply any templates that you might need for your transaction. By applying a template, any data you have pre-filled ahead of time within your cover sheet or any of the forms will auto-fill throughout the rest of your transactional contract. What I can do from here is add my buyer's information and send it out for electronic signatures. 